Hey there, I'm Josh Goldman, senior editor with CNET, and this, uh, this is a giant lipstick. No, of course not. It's the Lytro Lightfield camera. And if you don't already know what it is, uh, it's really time you came out of your cave. So what's unusual about the Lytro, aside from the shape that is, uh, its sensor captures not just the color and intensity of light, but the vector direction of the light rays. When you press the shutter release, this little dimple on top, uh, light is collected from all directions, which the camera's software translates into what's basically a 3D map of whatever was photographed, giving it the unique capability of shooting fast without the need to focus first. Then, when you get back to your computer, you use Lytro software to convert your shots into what they call living pictures that can be refocused again and again. And then you can share them online and let others refocus them again and again. And if that doesn't do it for you, you can convert them into small, lifeless JPEGs, but you'd really be missing the point of the camera. As for using the Lytro, it's both simple and complicated. There's an almost non-existent touch-sensitive strip that controls the 8x zoom lens, a power button and micro USB port on the bottom, and a very tiny touchscreen with terrible viewing angles, making it difficult to frame shots unless it's directly in front of your eyes. You get two shooting modes, everyday and creative. Uh, the everyday mode lets the camera set the refocusing range. Uh, that's the distance between objects in the foreground and background that can be refocused. And creative mode can be used for macro shots or portraits with soft blurry backgrounds, but there's less of a refocusing effect. Now, what I meant by simple and complicated is that it can be used like a simple point and shoot, but getting good, interesting shots for refocusing takes practice and creativity. If that sounds cool to you, then definitely consider getting one. However, be warned, the camera, or should I say the camera software, is sort of a work in progress. Lytro has new features planned, but when you get to use them is dependent on its development schedule. So it's up to you if you're okay with that. Regardless, it's a cool camera with some cool technology, and we're looking forward to seeing what it can do in the future. I'm Josh Goldman, and that's the Lytro Lightfield camera.